We are going to start by making a color study of yellows and oranges. So I have cadmium yellow here, and I might just start painting with that on my paper. Um, this is a great opportunity to just play around with viscosity of your paint, add some water to your paint, grab some white, mix it into it. You could be loose with your brush strokes, paint broadly. I'm gonna mix a little cadmium red medium into this now to get some of these oranges. So we're just sticking to white, yellow, red, and if you have a pre-mixed orange, you might use that as well. I don't have one today. And layer your colors. This use both sides of the brush. Just want to get that paper covered. You might try different brushes out. This is called a fan brush. These are really nice for doing what's called broken color, where you don't mix your colors all the way. You can get these neat lines in your painting. So depending on what pigments you have, you're going to get different oranges, different uh, red oranges, yellow oranges, different yellows. Again, I recommend just layering your paint, trying different things out, keeping it very loose. Again, doing this broken color technique is always a really fun thing to try. And since it's just a color study, you don't have to worry about being precise right now. If you find that you like these brighter colors, you might want to take more yellow and more white and mix it in there. I have some fluid primary yellow. I'm gonna get a little crazy here and just drop that right on. And then I might mix this in or leave it loose. You can use this as an opportunity to be very expressive if you wish. Now I'm going to experiment with mixing different purples, different violets. So to get that, I would mix blue with red and white. Um, this is phthalo blue, I believe. It's very dark pigment. So you might even just start with that. Actually, this is the um, ultramarine blue. And you can see how these two colors differ. This is phthalo blue. So you see there's a little bit of a difference between those two blues.
And now mix some red in there and some white and you'll get different violets, different lavenders. Again, play with the viscosity of the paint. If you have a pre-mixed purple, go ahead and use that. Try some of this in there. So cadmium red medium is going to make your purples look a little bit grayer because it's veering on the yellow side. So just be aware of that. So that is quite a gray lavender. I really like that color though. You could use this as a fun opportunity to make some patterns. I'm going to take my red and blue since when you mix them together you get a really dark purple. 